Coop is oh, meeting Zoo for the first time. He said, um, wait a minute. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to give the blanket from the house. It's right here. Oh, Papa. your sister. Oh, you give her some kissy? You smell her? Hello. Y'all, Jan is packing someone's order. Who's the lucky person today? That's on the vlog. Her name is Kanika McCall from Torrance, California. Hi, thanks for the support. Um... So yeah, so we started doing things a little bit differently. Um, and if you've previously received a Lux House order, it didn't come with tissue paper. But now, your stuff comes wrapped in tissue paper with a little Lux House sticker. Um, so we're just trying to elevate the whole experience as we are about to approach one year in business. Um, and yeah, so just thinking of little ways to just make it a full Lux experience. And this is a start. So, thanks. Right now, Jan is steaming the clothes for the shoot. Hello, people. This is everything that we're aiming to shoot today. This is what we mean by bat shooting. Lay all of your clothes out. Take them, pack them with you, and get in the car and go shoot. I will take y'all to the shoot with us, and I'll see y'all when we get there. We are done shooting and I am hot as balls. I think it's a mixture of it being a thousand degrees outside plus being postpartum and already sweating plus still being large and in charge from being pregnant and it's just it's too much plus this wagon I'm dragging it just it makes everything just too much. But I got three looks in after not sleeping at all the entire night. I've been up since 10 p.m. for the most part. I maybe closed my eyes for like 20 minutes at a time because Zuri had gas and was throwing up. She's had an upset stomach. So I was up with her and too paranoid. She's also congested. And I was too paranoid to go to sleep because I didn't want her to like choke on her congestion or anything. I don't know. I was just paranoid. And so I've been up. So Shema was like, do you want to cancel the day? And I was like, you know what? No, because I don't want to feel defeated. We are on our way back to the house. I don't even remember what I was telling you guys before I turned into a glow stick. Zuri, oh, she was congested. I was paranoid. I thought she was going to choke on her congestion. So I stayed up the entire night. Shema asked me if I wanted to cancel. I said no, because then I would have been mad that I didn't get the work done that I wanted. And I also just feel better when I work. So I just loaded up with a bunch of coffee and things and push through it now we're on our way back home I'm gonna eat and take a nap until Harper gets home um, and yeah that's what's going on it's really hot in Texas that's it okay y'all so Shama hit 20k and she doesn't know, Julissa is surprising her. Congrats on 20K. Me and Jan just had to scheme to go get all this stuff. She's actually at 22K. 
she's been going so fast, we can't even keep up. So I had already ordered the 20K balloons because that's where she was. What day is that Sunday? Yesterday. Sunday, now she's at 22. So we're just gonna celebrate hitting 20 and then we'll do it again whenever she hits another milestone. So I think she thinks we completely forgot. And then I was like making up stuff about her needing to do stuff with Harper. She was just gonna watch Zuri and we were gonna send everybody home. So then she was like, well, you could just go lay down and take a nap and we'll just watch the girls until, you know, whenever. And I was like, no, it's okay. I'm not, I'll sleep tonight since I have my first one in Bella. But she was trying to say like, you stay sleep until like four or five. And I said, oh, it's okay. But that's Shayma always trying to help the world out. She knows I'm tired. She knows I haven't slept. So she was trying to like make fetch happen. But I'm like, yeah, no, we have to celebrate you. Shayma, are you happy? <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Jan is currently creating the set for the campaign. Now, don't talk about me because this is really not what I'm normally commissioned to do. <laughs> and this is not my wheelhouse of expertise. But y'all gonna get what y'all gonna get. Period. What are you, Corey? Oh, okay. Right, right, right. 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 Who is she? It's giving Barbie. Corey's about to repropose or read his proposal note because somebody asked him for pointers today. Um, somebody asked him for pointers today at the gym, so he went and looked for his proposal note of what he said to me, and he's about to read them again with the music. Yan, hit it. <laughs> you know what? So I didn't get on one knee. Come on, knees. Ain't they what they called, they called you at school? Take my hand. Come on, finish drinking. Where's my ring? You got me a new one? You want me to get it? Hold on. Nah, we good. <laughs> <sighs> it's crazy. It's been a year already. No. What? Oh, I guess it was a year. Sorry. <laughs> Take two. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> Take two. No. Not quite. I'm getting up. Come on. <laughs> Jeez. Can I? <clears throat> it's crazy that it's been a year already. Even crazier that we've learned so much about each other. You've really become my best friend. I literally can't see myself being with anybody else for the rest of my life. See, well, did I lie? Will you marry me? Did I lie? See, she still ain't okay. answer me. She still ain't answer me. No. I said, you know what it is. What you doing? <laughs> Getting adjusted. Ooh, that was good. I was about to say. Say hi, Moody. Hi. Kiss. Hey. You, you give Moody a kiss? Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you say water? Yeah. Good job. <laughs> nay, nay. Oh. 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 <laughs> Can I show you your booger? Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Delisa, how, do, I how do you keep her from getting sick at school? Show them your nose. Show them your nose. Exhibit A. Cough. A. Cough. Go ahead. Exhibit A. How are you ready? Wait. 
Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, do it. All right, wait, don't bring it <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh no, where's daddy? Where he at? <laughs> where'd daddy go? <laughs> oh no, where's daddy? Harper, where's daddy? Where's daddy? <laughs> Where? Did he hide behind the door? Look, they keep grabbing the blanket. <laughs> is that where Uncle Daddy is? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, guys. Okay, so it is Wednesday. The girls have an admin day on Wednesday. Um, Shame is with another client, and the other ladies pretty much work on the content and things that we did on Monday and Tuesday. Um, so the house is really quiet. Um, my postpartum doula is still here and she stays until noon on Wednesdays um, so that I'm able to kind of do personal stuff and not work. So I'm making calls about the house um, and appointments and things uh, while she has zoo. Harper is at school. Um, Corey's at workouts. So everybody's kind of just doing their thing um, and I'm able to kind of think clearly. So I worked out. I already prepped dinner for tonight so that I'm not frantic after Harper gets home from school. Um, I'm doing emails and kind of just organizing my life, doing some um, just life things that I need to catch up on um, and some budget planning and things like that um, while the house is quiet and while I can think clearly. Um, I have some interior design stuff that I'm working on with the house. I'm sick of this refrigerator right here. So I've been in the process of looking for one that actually fits. We had had one um, when we moved into the new house and then uh, they were delivering it and the refrigerator literally fell on top of the man while he was bringing it into the house. So first I was like, of course, I hope you're okay. Please make sure you're not injured. Um, but you can take this fridge back because now it's probably damaged if it fell. Um, so ever since then, I was like, you know what, screw it, and I never ordered a new one. So now I'm looking, um, <laughs> over a year later, I'm looking, um, for one. And of course, everything is like 10 to 12 weeks out, but I'm trying to find one that we can get a little bit sooner. So just things like that, that like are, have always been on the back burner. Um, I'm finally getting time to do those, um, on a non-work day while I have, um, extra help. And I'm not pregnant and sleepy and all that kind of stuff. So it just feels good to like work out and then to be able to think clearly about life and to prep dinner and do things that like I'm typically rushing through. Um, so that's what I'm working on now. I just started back working out this week. So Monday I was on the treadmill. Yesterday I did hot yoga. And today I did the treadmill again. I may go to yoga tonight depending on what um, time the kids go down. Um because I'll just wait until they go down to go. Uh, and that's what's going on. So quick little update. Hi, people. So today is a Wednesday, which means we all work remote for Jaleesa. Um, I actually work with another client on Wednesdays, but today I'm getting to work remote for both of them, which is very rare. Um, and so I typically just check in on Wednesdays, but today I've already helped with posting stuff on stories and had a meeting with her agency about upcoming campaigns and what we've turned in and what I still need to submit and all that stuff. Um, and then we had a campaign go live this morning for Walmart. So I just needed to make sure that that went according to plan because the worst thing that can possibly happen is when you go live with a campaign and the brand tells you to take it down. So I'm very anal about it. Jaleesa is very anal about it. And then if something goes wrong, we are so anal that sometimes we're like, this is the brand's fault. Um, but yeah, I've checked out because I'm working with my client now, so or like my other client. So I've already submitted everything I need to do for her. Hi all, happy Wednesday. It is remote work slash admin day. For me, I will be shipping out orders. I aim to ship same day, if not very next day. I will be returning emails. I will be sending out return labels. I will be processing the returns that have been sent to us. 
Um, I will be calling vendors to get ETAs on some items that we placed orders for just so that we can brainstorm how we want to roll out our new arrivals for you guys. Then also asking for line sheets um, just so that we can see what the vendors have that we want to order um, and what direction we want to head in for our fall winter collection. Um, I have some copy to finish up so that a campaign can get submitted. And lastly, um, just uploading any footage that we shot over the past couple of days that Brie may need to edit reels, vlogs, etc, etc. So, yeah, happy Wednesday. Bye. Hey, what's up? So, Brie here. I am currently working on Instagram reels, TikToks, YouTube edits, and content calendars for Lux House as well as Julissa's TikTok and Instagram um so i am making edits a lot of edits right now and then following the edits i'm going to send everything over for approval um so yeah that's what i'm doing hello guys so we are out here shooting i am yes starting to get the postpartum flary fuzzy hair hairs things um we're shooting i have a campaign at a restaurant but it's not for the restaurant it's for the reservation app and then we're going back to do videos and such my mom is home in missouri Corey should be back shortly. She was a little gassy and fussy today, but it's gotta work. So my mom came and stood in and took over. Uh, this is our only shoe day, so we have a lot to get through today. Yesterday we went to the spa and kind of just canceled everything. So today we're gonna power through everything so that the rest of the week isn't us like backtracking. I only have one, I think she didn't do this one. I only have one uh, campaign to shoot today because we're waiting on so many products to come mail um so i feel like they're all going to come in at the same time and we're going to be like rushing and whatnot but that's usually how it goes so yeah i need a pedicure my feet look freaking horrid but i'm a mom of two so sue me brie is having trouble which i actually could bend down now but this dress is too expensive for me to want to do that so you know that's that hi <laughs> Okay, so as long as I don't, it's fine. Give me the other one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, as long as I can stand up, cause they're coming right back off. Come on, two, two camera free. What am I? What am I saying? Want to update? What are you doing? How are you as a dad of two? Ah, How yes. A mental check-in. Oh my goodness, yeah, a mental check-in. Dad of two here. I'm tired. Tell them what you told me. what I tell you? you not Oh, wait, is this? Where's my lighting at? Oh, there's my lighting. Yeah, so. But anyway. Nah, yeah, we, we, we tired over here. Um, struggling on sleep. Zuri had a night last night. Uh, I don't know what it is. She's sleeping all day, but at night she's just like real iffy. So yeah, we see. Uh, we see when this next one rolls around. We're we're not really sure. Yeah. Yeah. When and if. But as of right now, we tied. <laughs> we tied. Uh, but we love them. Number one part. We love them. But yeah. So that was my update. I'm I'm still here. Still around. I just, you know, probably haven't popped up in a while. <laughs> well, yeah, still, still here, and we'll update y'all later. Hey, what's up? So, happy Thursday. We are at the house, and I can't really show y'all exactly what the team is doing, but I can tell you a little bit. So, they are sorting things for Lux House. New things that will be dropping soon. Make sure that you guys shop Lux House um and tag us so that i can go ahead and post you guys on our social medias um make sure you're following looks on tiktok and instagram and tag us in everything like i said that you post once you purchase hello world <laughs> okay so i have had two kids in the last two years my closet is not the person who i am today Period. um and i am about to do a gut and sell items on Poshmark. Um, I have already done a gut before I had Zuri. 
um, and giving away a lot of stuff to churches and donation centers and women's shelters and stuff. So before you guys say that, we have already sent probably 20 plus bags of clothes and shoes and toys and baby clothes um, to women's shelters, to churches, to donation places already. These are the items that I actually either spent money on, like good money, or was still trying to decide if I wanted to wear it again. But now that I've had Zuri, it's so much stuff that like I'm just I'm just not that person. And I'm also gonna stop trying to hold on to the size six items that I have and in here. You're a cool mom now. I'm a cool mom, and I got more money than I had before. Period. So and that should be celebrated. It's celebrated and I'm honored. Gutting out things, and I am gonna make my closet more of the woman who I am what right now, the mom of two. Huh? What is this under my name? Is it poop? I don't know. I have no idea. It looks like a Rice Krispie treat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the kids. Um, so, yeah. So, a lot of the items I still love and I loved at one point. Um, I'm just not there anymore. And I'm sick of holding space and trying to let go of things that need to... Trying to hold on to things that need to be let go of. Um, and that's just in life and now physically in terms of my closet. It's just so tedious and the people I have a million and one questions. Mm -hmm. This dress, are you Zavar going? Yeah. <laughs> this is the dress that I bought on Pretty Little Thing, I think, because it was the middle of the pandemic and I was like, I feel like Corey might propose. And if we just go to the courthouse, I should have some type of white dress so we could just, like if we just decide. So I ordered this dress on Pretty Little Thing, but then we ended up having a little having wedding. Having a little wedding. So that can go, because I'm married now. Per. Okay y'all, so we made piles of stuff. So right now this is how far we've gotten. This is a summer pile. This is a winter pile. Y'all will see this later. This is a, I don't really know what this pile is, but this is that pile. Um, This is a trash pile and this is the second summer pile. So this is currently sitting over there looking for pictures for what she already has full of. Hello family, so it is now Friday, July 1st actually. Um, cannot believe that it's July. Just got Harper off to school on Fridays. Her school does water days, so it was easy to get her dressed and stuff, but we had to pack extra clothes so that when she gets wet and whatnot. Um, you can just grab my purse, it's right here. Um, so we had to pack her a change of clothes and then on Friday nights, um, sometimes she stays with my mom. Um, they have like their slumber party nights and like they do their nails and do fun stuff. Um, so pending she feels okay and everything goes the way as planned, she will be there tonight. Um, yeah, with toddlers and a newborn, we kind of just take things as they come. So we don't like put anything in stone because we just don't know. Um, so, that's what's going on. Um, the ladies are remote on Fridays, so they may come by just to kick it, um, but everyone works from home. I am doing some admin work, paying invoices, which is my favorite thing to do. Um, and paying invoices, we're doing payroll. Um, paying for school and all that stuff. I have a lot of like admin and life work to do. Um, and then I was gonna go shopping, but I think I'm gonna try to save some money for today and hang out at home and nap with Baby Zoo. Um, I've kind of just been trying to get into my groove of like having two kids and <laughs> it's just so like, I just, I don't know, like it's been a transition, it's been good, but also very hard to like find a rhythm with the two of them. So even like bath time at night, like I'm used to being able to like shut down, but I still have to take care of Zuri. Um, and just kind of figuring out like how Ko and I, you know, divide and conquer 
and what that even looks like, especially with everything, with Zuri not really having a schedule now. Um, I also have just been trying to find myself because it's like I already, it already took me a long time to like figure out, you know, who I was and how to take care of myself, you know, self-care and stuff um, after having Harper. And now it's almost like I'm starting over completely. So you guys saw that I'm like gutting my closet because I just feel like so much of it doesn't speak to where I am now. So I've been posting stuff on Poshmark. I also, just with the way that the world is going, I think I've been like doing a lot of like thought work and trying to figure out like what truly makes me happy, who I am outside of being a mom and outside of being a working woman and a wife. Um... So I've been trying to see like, what are my hobbies? Like before my hobbies were shopping, now I take care of a family so I can't like blow money and like just go frolic in the mall and streets and stuff like I used to. Um, I also have like, my body's going through a transition so that's also different. And then just also before being a mom and a wife, work was my hobby, I loved working. Like it was enjoyable. Um, and it still is, but not to the same degree because there are other things that take more priority now um, than work and having a family is is that. Um, so trying to figure out what what do I like and what do what brings me joy outside of working or being who I am to my family. Um, so cooking used to be fun for me, and I used to do it for fun, but ever since being a mom and a wife it's not it doesn't bring as much joy um and i think it's because like i'm always like frantically cooking like trying to like prepare and provide for other people um so i'm really just trying to see who i am outside of serving others and what brings me joy outside of being who i am and what i am to other people um that's not tied to work so i don't know i've been on this like journey of just figuring that out or really just decided that i wanted to be on a journey of figuring that out so I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't know if I'm going to start trying new things and seeing, you know, what gets me going um, or what. And I may take you guys along that journey of like figuring out who I am at this stage. I'm also going to be 30 in six months and that just blows my mind. So just kind of figuring out who I am outside of who and what I am to other people and what makes Jaleesa happy outside of money and my family so that's what i'm doing um just trying to find a hobby because like even working out like yeah i'm gonna do it because it's good for me and because you know i want to be fit and healthy and live a long life but that's not fun it's not fun so i'm trying to see like do i like knitting and do i like volleyball do i like Swimming. I don't know. I'm just going to try to figure out what brings me joy that's not tied to anyone else or making money. So yeah, that's a wrap. If you guys want weekly vlogs, let me know down in the comments. If you want to stick to monthly, let me know too. Um, I think the only reason why I never did weekly vlogs is because I just feel like there's not much that's entertaining going on around here. But the girls have been telling me and people have been telling me just like show what you're doing oh sorry he's waking up um show what you're doing and that's good enough like it's your real life so let me know if you guys want weekly or monthly vlogs i love you guys peace out